You may already know that you can monitor switches and states from the profiler's capture log. But what about game parameters? You can do that too in the profiler. Or you can use the game object profiler. When using the profiler, you need to make sure the profiler settings receives API calls. And then you can set a filter set to RTPCs only. This will allow you to see every time the game parameter is set from the game and the specific value. However, if you need a more visual representation of this, you can use the game object profiler. To monitor a game parameter, like the evil head movement speed, you add a game parameter to the game sync watches. You can also do this from the Project Explorer or the Property Editor's RTPC tab, and then specify where to look for the game parameter. In the Game Object Explorer, where you'll have a list of all the game objects in the game and watches, which is where to look. If it's global, like a time of day game parameter, you can choose global game object, but in this example, let's use the game object name, so we'll see a graph for each of the evil heads. Then connect to the game, and you'll get a graph for each evil head.